Hello everyone, I am Bradley Sword, Associate Professor of Computer and Information Science at the College of DuPage in Glen Ellen, Illinois. And this video today is going to take a look at multiplication without explicitly using multiplication. And I know it's not the year 1985, we're not programming for an original NES Nintendo system or something like that, but uh, sometimes it is actually more efficient to multiply something without just using mult or just using, you know, just, just multiplying two numbers together. And so this is what this is going to show you this. If you've already seen the video in C++, there's already one available. And this one will take care of this in Python. So the video, the, the videos that I have for the human resource machine, uh, there's two videos, one that show you how to multiply by 8 and one to show you how to multiply by 40. And it's the same basic idea. We don't, you know, if, if I ask you to multiply something by 13,400, uh, I don't want to see you doing 13,339 or however many. I don't need to see you just doing additions over and over and over again. Even in a loop, that doesn't seem, in a, you know, that doesn't seem like uh, an efficient way to make this work. So we can kind of reduce this down pretty, pretty easily. Uh, if you, and, and again, if you follow the videos prior, you know exactly where I'm going with it. So I'm going to set up a function called multiply. And look at that, I spelled it right first time. I'm going to have a n go in, and just for the moment I'm going to have a 4 come out. And then, uh, and here I'm going to set up a function, I'm just going to like my input, my x, is going to be equal to the uh, input. And say, okay, give me a value, enter, enter a number. And I know I, I'm going to need to convert this into an integer, so I'll wrap it around a, a cast here. And so once I have that, I can say, oh, okay, that's my input stage. Now my process stage is, take that, call the multiply function. Look at that. Don't have to worry about typing it in. And I'll pass in whatever that x is. And then on the other end here, I will print the result is. <coughs> and I can say result. Okay, so let's try this out. Let's make sure this works. Enter a number down here, enter a number, I'll put a 4 in, and then, oh, I'll put something other than a 4, put an 8 in, and a 4 comes out, so the result is 4, let me just put a, so I can kind of keep consistent there, but uh, let me try it one more time just to make sure, and now if I put an 11 in, oops, <laughs> hate when that does that, when I put an 11 in, a 4 comes out, so good, so we've got everything going on, at least on the, like if you want to think on the main side, and now we just got to figure out how to make things work over here, so just remember, we were discussing, we want to multiply by 24, but we want to, we don't want to just add something over and over and over again. And so what we can do is use powers of two, just like in the human resource machine videos. So we, we want to reduce like eight, basically eight is a power of uh, two. 40 was not in the uh, tetracontiplier level, but we did reduce that down into powers of two of eight and 32. And so our case, we want to reduce 24 into 2, and the same thing goes. I'm going to go, oh, 8 and 16. So this is a power of 2, this is the octiplier level, and then one extra little bit will get me to the 16 I need in order to get something multiplied by uh, 24. So I'm going to start with my total is equal to 0. At the end of this, I'm going to return the total. Okay, so that's my, and inside of here is where all the hard work is going to be. So if I know that n coming in is 1 times n, obviously, because it, n is n, you know, 1 times anything, so I can just multiply this, or, or I can double this like this. I can say, okay, take whatever n is, or if you want to think of it, if I write it out, <coughs> n equals n plus n, because n will become 2n. And let me just, now that you know that, let me just reduce it like that. And then I can say, okay, now this is going to be 2n. Well, how about 4n? How about 8n? Because if I double it once, 1n becomes 2n. And if I double 2n, 2n plus 2n is equal to 4n. And if I double it another time, 4n plus 4n equals 8n. So in line 7 here, I know that n will actually be 8 times whatever we started with. So I can say, oh, add that into my total. And so now total will be 8n, n will be 8n, and now the final thing to do here is to say, oh, okay, n, double yourself one more time, so now that'll be 16n, and then add that into the total as well, and we're done. And so let's try this out. Now, now if I put an 11 in, I should get, uh, well, let's put a 10 in to make it easy, if I put a 10 in, I should get 240, and I do. So that's the whole basic idea here, was to reduce a number into its powers of 2. So that, or, you know, so that basically every time we double, we double, you know, we're doing powers of 2 to make this work. 
So, and then just maintaining the total of the sum of the numbers when we need to get there. So this gets me a, this is, oops, that was weird. This is, this is plus, this, this will get me 8n, and this will get me the plus 16n. That gets me the 24n that works for everything else. Now the only question is, does this work for like negative numbers and things like that? Negative 8 gets me negative 192, so the answer looks to be a resounding yes. Because we're not doing any weird multiplications, we're just adding negative, you know, we're just moving ourselves uh, further along uh, along the positive or negative number line. We don't have to worry about anything uh, being weird, any of those fringe cases. So even zero should probably work. And so the thing is, like, it, you know, say it's, it seems like a wasted calculation trying to multiply zero by 24 because it's a lot of work just to get me there. But uh, that's just the way programming goes with this. It's a general solution to multiply number by 24 without actually using multiplication. So thanks for sticking it out as always. Uh, again, please view the C++ video if you want to view that, but it looks it's going to look very similar uh, to what you have here at the basic level. Uh, so thanks for sticking it out as always, guys. Uh, everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you in future videos.